Duties of an Intern at Topayo Vets Hello, welcome to Topayo Vets. I hope that you will enjoy yourself during this internship. Before we start, I will have to brief you on four things. Expectations, duties, innovation and testimonial. Here are some guidelines for you. Do refer closely to them throughout your internship. Firstly, we will be speaking about expectations. To be able to learn as much as possible from this internship, here are three main things that you have to practice throughout your internship. Punctuality, self-discipline and time management. Firstly, punctuality. Punctuality is especially important in private sectors. It shows that you care and take pride in what you do. To be punctual also means you are considerate for others so that they don't have to wait for you. Next, self-discipline. Self-discipline is the ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. This is to ensure that you focus on your work so that you will be extremely productive. For example, you should sleep early so that you can concentrate on what you are doing during the day. Thirdly, time management. Time is precious in the commercial world. You have to know how to plan your time properly and organize your timetable well. In order to manage your time well, avoid distractions, gossiping with customers, gossiping with staff, long lunches and long time off. The dress code for interns at the Pearl Vets is collared shirt, long pants or skirt and covered shoes. So now, let's move on to your duties and responsibilities. At the Pearl Vets, 50% of the time, you will be assisting and observing the vet practice. The other half of the time, you will be doing the case writing and project work. Usually, the target for interns is one video per two days. In preparation for your final product, our planning stage includes drawing mind maps and writing scripts. Let's take a closer look at an example of a mind map. The mind map consists of the main heading and it branches out into subheadings. Then, we add in details for each subheading. Next, let's take a closer look at a script. The script consists of three columns. The first column is the title, the second column is the narrative, and the last column is the footage or image to be attached to each part. In this video, we follow a movie structure, the hook, the intro, the body or middle part, and the conclusion. The hook and the conclusion both take up one sixth of the video each. After making the script, do seek approval from the mentor first. He will give you tips and advices or point out any changes that are needed to be made. Next, let's move on to the actual execution. There are many different formats to present your case study. Texts, PowerPoints, videos, social media like Facebook or blogs. At Topayo Vets, we usually make more videos. Do make sure that you edit meticulously before publishing and check for your spelling grammar errors. Be concise and always include subtitles for the viewers. Do ensure that your subtitles are short and sweet. Do not delete earlier versions of videos that you have made. Always save footages on hard drive. Dr. Singh provides us with many hard drives. Do make good use of them. For those of you who wish to be innovative and come up with new ideas like role plays or illustrations, we are totally welcoming of that. However, please take note that they are time consuming, so you should be prepared to bring some work home to do. Finally, your testimonials. Some of you require testimonials for admission to vet colleges or other reasons. Your testimonials depend on your work attitude as well as your work performance based on the case studies you do. Case studies that you have done support testimonials and prove that you have experienced the vet practice. It also proves that you have worked hard in the vet. Okay, that's about it for now. I hope that you learn from this internship and enjoy yourself at the same time. Thank you.